I was going to call this update, GPT-4 is here regarding its location, regarding where the data centers are physically, geographically in the world. But I thought that might be a bit on the nose to call it GPT-4 is here. Where is GPT-4? Right now, GPT-3 is being used in a lot of different places. In fact, large language models are becoming ubiquitous. Every single Google search you make is powered by BERT. Microsoft copied that. Every single Bing search you make is powered by BERT. There are large language models in a lot of things you do, from Duolingo through to GPT-3's applications here. You've got businesses like IBM, Twitter, Salesforce, Cisco, Intel, and even Disney integrating large language models and AI into their work. And a little while ago, last year, OpenAI told us that GPT-3 generates an average of 4.5 billion words per day. That was a year ago. Let's assume <laughs> that those 3.1 million words per minute have been 10 x in the 12 months since then, or a little over 12 months since then. So that would mean that we're looking at 45 billion words per day or 31 million words per minute. That's some really, really fast typing. So that means it's likely generating many books per second on the way to a million books per hour and a full Library of Congress <laughs> every day or two. That's outrageous. For background, the Library of Congress is 838 miles or 1,349 kilometers of bookshelves with over 39 million books. Here's the kicker. GPT-3 is just one of over 30 publicly available large language models as of May 2022. So while GPT-3 is churning out a Library of Congress worth of books every few days, so are the other 30 or so models, which is just outrageous. In fact, just last month, April 2022, a new large language model was released every four days or so. And this is a look at my timeline, drilling down into some of these models. Is this thing on? A Library of Congress every few days, 30 models. We know that a year ago, GPT-3 was generating more than all Twitter users combined every second. Former Google chair Eric Schmidt said GPT-3's results are miraculous. GitHub, in an interview with Axios, said that for some programming languages, 30% of newly written code is being suggested by GPT-3. My analysis of the intelligence behind this artificial intelligence has shown that for certain subtests, GPT-3 and other models are smarter than humans, in particular for general knowledge and written comprehension based on the SAT analogies subtest. And one of the big questions I get asked is, where is GPT-3? Where does this model sit? And you would think that it sits in San Francisco or at least on the West Coast because OpenAI are California based in the Bay Area. But of course, there might be cheaper places to put such a massive data center. There have been rumors that it's based in Iowa and in the New York Times Magazine on the 15th of April, 2022, we had some detail that this was actually true. It's in suburban Iowa, definitely for training. And for inference, we probably make that a bit more distributed, but you're gonna need a lot of power to train this kind of model. In fact, Microsoft were very detailed about what this supercomputer actually looked like. So on the 19th of May, 2020, they detailed the fact that this was a supercomputer built exclusively for OpenAI. It's hosted in Asia and it is massive. We're talking about 285,000 CPU cores, 10,000 GPUs, it's all gigabit. And they said it would have been in the top five of the top 500 supercomputers in the world if it was public. Obviously this one is very much private and very much only for OpenAI. But as of a few months ago, Microsoft replicated this supercomputer and they do have a public facing one with 253,440 CPUs. This one's in Virginia, Azure East US 2. Whereas we know that OpenAI's supercomputer through Microsoft is actually 
not in Virginia, it's instead in Iowa. Let's have a closer look. Microsoft Azure give us some beautiful detail on where their data centers and points of presence are located. You'll see Australia and Perth down the bottom there. But of course, it's going to be somewhere in the middle here. And if we zoom in on the United States and the many different data center locations there, the different regions there, we'll see Iowa in the center there, central US. And of course, you can see East US to Virginia there. Iowa's data center is absolutely massive. <laughs> so why would they have chosen Iowa? Let's take a look. This is West Des Moines in Iowa, and it's a really beautiful part of the world. It's quite a low population. There's about 200,000 people there. Some of the competitors like Meta and Google are also based there, but Microsoft have got, starting from 2008, five major projects. You've got Project Mountain, Project Alluvian, which started in 2014, Project Osmium in 2016, and more recently, Project Ginger, which is closer to the city. All in all, you're looking at around $4 billion worth of data centers. This is the actual construction of the Osmium data center and uh, some of the steel and some of the sand and a look at the golf courses around that area. The number one reason that Iowa was chosen as a data center location was the low electricity rates in that state because you can go and do all your training of these massive models and you don't particularly need to be in New York or San Fran. You may not even need very, very fast connection back to the points of presence, but of course there's fiber connectivity going all the way back there. And it's absolutely huge. The data centers for Microsoft Azure, for OpenAI, are hosted on over 200 acres of land. So for comparison, that's 1.3 times the size of the Pentagon, and it's nearly twice the size of the entire Vatican City, or for easier comparison maybe, it's about the size of 151 football fields. And as we get closer to the data center, this is what it actually looks like. This is a Microsoft data center as of 2020, it would be very, very similar, maybe exactly the same as the data center that is hosting OpenAI's supercomputer. And you'll see here the different chips being created. There's some solar power to OpenAI's data center. It is really, really big. Of course, you probably use 10,000 GPUs to train a model like GPT-3, or you use a majority of them. And for inference, for actually running in querying it through prompts and waiting for a response, you might use a smaller supercomputer. You might even farm it out to different zones and different regions around the world for lower latency. I'd be betting that GPT-4 is also going to be based in this West Des Moines, Iowa data center by Microsoft, and it's gonna need a lot of hardware, a lot of power to be able to train this model. Sometimes over weeks or months, we've seen it's taken three or four months for big science to train their model across March, April, May, June, maybe July 2022. It's going to be massive. In the interim, we've got more and more models being created. As I mentioned at the top of this update, you've got uh, a model being generated every three or four days in April 2022. And you've got some really amazing models coming up. Here's a view of what they look like. And one of my favorite parallels to this one. You've got AI21's Jurassic 1 out of Israel. They've also come up with a concept called Jurassic X, which ties in live databases. So you might have a weather feed, you might have a local database, you might go out to Wiki, which gets updated every second or so. And then your large language model is always up to date and hopefully even more truthful. I reckon GPT-4 is just around the corner. Give it a few weeks. We know exactly where it's being trained now. We know exactly where it's being hosted. And uh, that answers the question, where is GPT-4? Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Life Architect 
www.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai.ai